everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and also what's in my bag for my Gucci Marmot mini camera bag. So I've had this bag for three years now and it's one of the best designer handbags that I've purchased so far. I think it's really versatile for day, night. I've also taken it on all of my major international trips since I got the bag and it's just super handy to have. Um, I like the size and you'd be surprised at how much fits inside. So I'm going to be showing you what fits inside and also my thoughts on the bag since I've had it for a few years now. So starting off with my thoughts on the bag, um, it's just under the $1,000 mark. I think it's about $980 and I feel like that's a really good price point for Gucci and also for um, in terms of cost per use, it's definitely a bag that you can wear, you know, when you're running errands, on the weekends, when you're traveling, because it fits all of your necessities and kind of keeps you hands free and doesn't um, take up that much space also. So I think it's really great because usually when I travel, I bring this bag and I bring a carry on kind of duffel and a suitcase. That's kind of like my travel three piece set. And it's really great for when you're, you know, in busy streets, um, like if you're at the mall or if you're in a big city and you don't want to be carrying a huge bag around, I feel like this bag is perfect because it fits everything you need without, you know, adding additional space and, you know, having to worry about storing it and having it on your arm or anything in terms of like other bigger bags. So, um, I really like this bag. It's held up extremely well. Um, there really isn't any wear and tear. I've, you know, traveled with it, as I've said, so um, like none of the stitching has come off the GG logo, which I think is really impressive. The gold GG on the front has not tarnished or anything. Um, neither has um, like the little parts on the side. The strap has held on extremely well. And as you can see, I have definitely filled up the bag. So, um, you know, there's no kind of excess marks from stretching or anything other than, you know, normal kind of leather wear that has happened, but nothing super extreme. And this has been a very well loved bag for me. So I'm really impressed with the craftsmanship of this bag. And if you're looking for kind of, you know, a similar size bag, do you like the look of this? I love the color. This is in the color nude and it's literally perfect. It goes with any outfit. I also think it's because of the gold. I think it's also really nice to wear at night because, you know, it does, it can look, you know, fancy if you dress it up. So yeah, I think, you know, if you're looking for this bag, I really recommend, you know, checking it out and seeing if you like it in person. So the first item I have on top is a pair of sunglasses. These are Ray-Bans and these are pretty slim. So I would say, you know, this is kind of an extra item. Um, you might not need sunglasses, but if you did want to, you know, include sunglasses, I would, since the bag is so small, I would go with a, you know, kind of a thin pair. Um, I think that's kind of your best bet if you want to fit it in the bag. Next up, we have this giant lipstick. Um, it's actually a battery pack. So, you know, when you need to charge your phone on the go, I always have one with me because you just never know what happens. So along with that, I also have this um, Apple charging cable. I have an iPhone, so I always have one of these. Make sure you have both. Otherwise, you can't really use um, one without the other since I usually don't carry the plug. I just usually carry the cable. And as you can see, this is pretty large and it still fits. This is my hand, this is the lipstick. Next we have Excedrin. I usually carry this with me just because I don't like, you know, having a headache during my day or something. So if I feel one coming on or it's not getting better, um, I just take one of these and I like having it with me in case I need it. Next uh, are my keys. Um, nothing special, just my uh, keys. And I just wanted to show you the size so you can see kind of what um, the size I have and what fits into my bag. Next we have my wallet and um, this is a Louis Vuitton um, kind of wallet that clasps open and I really like this because it is kind of bigger so it's not just a card holder and I like that it closes so that um, like none of my cards are kind of exposed and this is you know how big it is and this fits comfortably also in my bag. I also usually have just, you know, um, tissues with me, you never know what can happen. It's just nice to have um, tissues and these are really flat so they don't really take up much space at all. Also, I always have some hand sanitizer. I usually like having this, especially if, you know, I'm eating and it's not convenient to go wash your hands or when I'm getting gas, like 
just like to have some hand sanitizer on, you know, in case of like, you know, needing to like get rid of germs or anything um, when you're out and about. My next thing is I like to have floss. Um, these are like um, just, it's really nice because you never know when you're outside and there's like food in your teeth and you like just, you know, want to get rid of it. I think it's really practical to carry some floss around, you know. Finally, um, I have my phone. So this is um, an iPhone 10 and the case is pretty slim and this does fit in the bag with everything else I mentioned. So if you, I know most of us probably carry our phones with us on hand, but I did want to show you that if I really want to be hands-free, my phone does fit in my bag with everything else I mentioned. So that's everything that's in my bag. Um, it was a wide variety of things. I'm hoping it gave you a good idea of what you can fit in your bag. I also wanted to show you the inside. This is what it looks like empty. And honestly, the interior is still like the same nude color. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, kind of just like dust inside from me using it, but like nothing has stained. Um, it's in really good condition and there is um, a little pocket inside here, just one open pocket, which isn't the most convenient since it's, you know, there's no zipper. So I wouldn't want to put um, like anything too sensitive in that pocket. So, cause it kind of opens really easily. So that's like the only thing, I'm not sure the pocket's the most useful. I usually just put some hair ties in there um, or, you know, things that uh, sometimes when I'm traveling, I'll put uh, maybe cash in there since, um, my wallet doesn't really hold that much, but other than that, I don't really use the inside pocket that much, but it also doesn't take up any space, so it kind of doesn't bother me that it's there and I don't really use it that much. That's all for what's in my bag and also my review of the Gucci Marmot mini bag. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what your favorite bags are and if you also own and love this bag.